Welcome to Bot Sailor. In this video, we will show you how to connect your WhatsApp business account with Bot Sailor. This is the dashboard of Bot Sailor. To connect WhatsApp business account with Bot Sailor, we have to go to Connect WhatsApp. Here, we will use the business account ID and access token to connect. We will walk you through the process step by step. Simply follow the steps in this video to link your WhatsApp business account to Bot Sailor. You have to create a Facebook app, set up WhatsApp with it, and then connect your business phone number with it. First, go to developer.facebook.com. Click on My Apps. Then, click on Create App. Select Main Use Case as Other, and then click on the Next button. Select the type as Business, and then click Next. Here, give a name for your app, you can change this later. The app contact email, will be the email of your Facebook account. In the business account field, we need to select the business account. If you don't have a Facebook business account yet, you will need to create one in the next steps. For now, we are leaving it as it is. Click on the next button. You will be asked for your Facebook password. Enter your password and click submit. Now, from the Add Products, we will add WhatsApp. Scroll down to find WhatsApp, and click on the Setup button. As we haven't selected any business account in the previous step, we need to select a business account or create a new one. If you don't have a business account, then keep Create a Business Account selected, but if you already have one, select it from the list. For instance, we will create a new business. Then, click on Continue. We don't need to do anything in Steps 1 and 2. Step 3 involves configuring the webhooks. Click on the Configure Webhooks link. Select the Edit option. Here we will have to add the callback URL and verify token. This information will be obtained from the Bot Sailor. Let's go to Bot Sailor. From the Connect WhatsApp, copy the webhook callback URL, and paste it here. Also, copy the Verify token, and paste it. Finally, click on the Verify and Save button. Then, click on Manage. Subscribe to Messages. Click on Done. Now, go back to getting started. In step 4, we don't need to do anything. Go to step 5, to add a phone number. Click on, add phone number. As we haven't selected any business account, before they allow us to add a phone number, they will ask us to fill in the business details. Enter a legal business name. Put a business email address. Select country. Add business website URL. Then click next. Now, it will ask to create a WhatsApp business profile. Give a WhatsApp business profile display name. This display name must exactly match the name of your business. This is very important. Select the time zone as well as the business category. Maintain the same category as your business. Then enter your company's information, which is optional. Then press the next button. Select the country code and enter the number. We have to add a number that doesn't have any WhatsApp account. If your business phone already has a WhatsApp account, then you need to migrate it. We will demonstrate the migrating technique in a separate video. Choose how you wish to verify the phone number. Then press the next button. A verification code will be sent to your phone number. Enter the verification code and then press the next button. Now, click on, See Overview Page, Link. 
click on the Business Settings button. From the Accounts, click on the WhatsApp Accounts. Here we can see the WhatsApp account we have just created. Now, from the user, go to System Users. To add a user, click on the Add button and accept the terms and conditions. Give a system username. Select the system user role as admin. Then click on Add Asset. Then go to App, and select the app which we have created in the beginning of this video. Allow full control. Then, click on Save Changes. Click on the Generate New Token. Select the app. From the available permissions, select Business Management, Catalog Management, WhatsApp Business Messaging, and WhatsApp Business Management. Then, click on Generate Token. Copy the token and paste it on the Bot Sailors token field. To get the business account ID, go to WhatsApp Accounts. Then select the account and copy this ID. Paste it on the Bot Sailor. Finally, click on Connect. Yes, it has been successfully connected. If you use a verified business account for the WhatsApp business account, then it will take some time to verify the WhatsApp business profile display name. Please make sure your business name and the WhatsApp business profile name are the same. As we have created this WhatsApp business account without any verified business account, this one will be activated immediately. Now, if we send a message from WhatsApp to this number, the message should be received on BotSailor's live chat. Yes, we have got the message. We can reply to that user from the live chat. That means, our WhatsApp business account is already created and got activated. As we have connected the WhatsApp business account with Bot Sailor, now we can create a bot for our WhatsApp business account, add sequence messages, broadcast to subscribers, and many more by using the Bot Sailor. We can also add a profile picture for our WhatsApp business account. From the business.facebook.com, go to All Tools and select WhatsApp Manager. Click on the WhatsApp Business Account. Go to Settings. And then go to Profile. On the Profile photo, click on Choose File. Select your profile picture and then click on Save button. Now, if we go to WhatsApp we will see the profile picture. In the next videos, we will show you how to use the Bot Sailor effectively, for your WhatsApp business bot account. That's all for today. Thank you for watching the video.